The current world record for a wooden yo-yo is five foot five, and we're attempting to build one that's six feet wide. We've had a lot of experts help us along the way. We had spoke to an engineer earlier who helped us make sure our design was good, that the weight distribution was right, rope strength was right, that the size of the crane was right. And we had some contractors come who helped us with the stain. Brian from Duncan was here earlier. He reassured us that we had the right design. Definitely want to go with something that has this butterfly shape to it. When all the weight is centered towards the middle, mm -hmm. um, you throw it down, the yo-yo starts to become unstable. It really depends on how you attach the rope mm -hmm. to the yo-yo. If that loop goes onto the yo-yo, the yo-yo is free to spin inside that loop. Mm -hmm. If the string's attached, once it hits bottom, it'll come straight back up. So for what we want to do, we want to make sure that it's fixed to the axle of the yo-yo. Okay. Wow, well, that's right. good to know. What's the hardest trick, you know? Hardest trick.